What's up everyone, this is Life of King here. Today you join me for uh, our second episode of our City Skylines series when we're looking at the Mass Transit DLC. For some reason that didn't have power, don't know why. So, in this episode, uh, we're going to be continuing to look at the DLC we started to look at last week. So, this is a quick recap. Uh, what we looked at last week was we looked at some of the new roads that have been added into the, ga into the game with the DLC uh, and we also highlighted the ferry system but today we're going to be looking at probably my favorite part of the DLC the monorail along with some new air support and some uh, some new just miscellaneous stuff which I found quite neat so, uh, as you can see here, we have the river, which is currently serving our ferries. But, when it comes to the river, there's still a lot of space we can use. So that is why I'm going to be, today, I'm going to be sh first showing off the cable car. So, yes, in the Transit DLC, they actually added the cable car, which I thought was quite neat. So, where would be the best place to put it? Well, easily, the best place to put it, I think, would be between two major populations. So, these two. So, what we're going to do is we're going to first put the... Uh, so, yeah, you can have a long cable car, but I'm only do building a short one. So, let's put a cable car stop here. I think it does need to be on the road. That's the only stipulation. So, that's the industrial area. So, we probably want it to go here. Just put that one there, and put this one, let's put it there. So now we can build the route. The route across. Fairly straightforward. And I believe now the cable car will take care of itself. Because it, all it needs of course is power and water. Just like the ferries. So let's see. Yep, there it goes. Oh, trying to. There we go. Oh, I had it. I had it for a second. But yeah, you get the idea. Basically, the cable cars will just go back and forth on the route. And they can, um,. They can actually shift quite a few passengers, I'd say. When the when the cable cars properly get moving, they can actually shift quite a few passengers. So yeah, I find that quite neat. Also, I've just actually realised the if you look here, the ferry routes actually have little the little things on the water, so you can actually see where they're marked. So it'll help with building, which is quite handy. And yep, the buses are working quite nicely in that one. So, uh, that was a quick look at the cable car. Doesn't really need too much explaining. But next up, we have a bit of new air support, which is blimps. Now, blimps is actually quite fascinating because blimps, it can not only be used for transport, but can also be used for advertisement for education. So, if you need an education bump but can't afford schools, you can actually advertise on the blimps so that can help increase education levels. So we've got depots and we've got uh, we've got stops. So I think the most sensible thing is to put the depot here out of the way. So now we'll put a stop here. Okay, doesn't want to go anywhere else. And we'll put one here. So now, just like the ferries, you need to program your route. However, because this is an air corridor, it's much easier to do. Because you don't have to worry about hitting things. So now we just want to loop around. There we go. So now we need the stops. 
quite easy really, just go and complete line. So now that we've got that set up, we, all we need to do is just give it some power. There we go. And as you can see, there go the blimps. Now as I just said, the blimps do have advertisements, so you can actually put some educational messages on there. So it can help increase education levels. Now I'm not sure how money efficient the blimps are, but uh, they can't, they are nice to look at, I will admit. Just nice to see like something else in the skyline. But now we showcase pretty much everything. But now we get, in my opinion, to the main event of the DLC, which is the monorail system. Now this, I have tested the monorail off camera, I admit, and it works an absolute treat. So, uh, if you've got like congested cities like this, but you don't have like too much, too much space, or you want to have something other than buses, then this is perfect. Because basically, what you can do is you can plop the monorail stations like just in the middle of nowhere, like this one, or you can actually convert the road into a monorail station so you can have traffic going through, but you don't have to worry about making like too much interference. You've also got monorail bus hub monorail train station and metro so you ha can have the metro the monorail and the train hub so and the train lines going to one station you've got standard monorail tracks one ray monorail tracks and you've got the monorail roads and of course the station so uh, I feel like where is our station that we had before here it is I feel like this station isn't really being used to its best potential so, I feel like it's time this got scrapped. I feel like, th I think it's time that this got replaced with the Metro with the train hub. So now what we can do is we can actually move the Metro lines to there, the train lines to there, and we can have a Metro line. Like so. Hmm, okay. This might take a bit of messing about. But, I think that she works. Now the good thing is, if I'm correct... Okay, can't find path, fair enough. Which is a bit weird. Let's see what happens if I do this. No, okay, still can't find path. So, well, the train line is now connected to the station, which is good. Now we need the metro. Now the metro is quite simple. So let's move this metro line tool. So drag stop. There we go. So that's now there. So now we can delete this tunnel. And that also helps that traffic a bit later. So, yep. So that creates a station. But now, right, now we can get to the fun stuff. Now we can actually get to the metro itself. So now that we have the train, the metro, now it's time for the monorail. So, for the monorail, I think it's probably best that I go towards the office district. So, it makes perfect sense. 
So let's go with our monorail station with roads. So we don't want it there because that will interfere. So I reckon probably the best place for it is here. So now we can put that down. And voila! You have a two lane road. And the good thing is, of course, you can re put the houses there. Well, in this case, offices. Alright. So now we've made that double lane. So now all we need to do is just convert the roads into monorail tracks. Like so. So the monorail will now curve round. And as you can see, it doesn't affect the traffic. So it just. Gl well, apart from the stations. So it just flows above it. Although you do need. You do need double for these bits. Alright, so let's put. Yeah, let's put a station down here. The only downside with the monorail stations is that you do need to manu manually delete some of the roads in order to put the stations down. Like so. Ah, oh, that's a problem. It looks like we might have a problem. Let's try that. There we go. Alright, so now the road should be back in one piece. Yep, there we go. So now we can continue. How far is it to go? Oh, just around the corner. Okay, it looks like we're having a slight issue. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it's not the neatest. It's not the neatest, but it is there. All right. So now we want to create the monorail, monorail line itself. Cannot find path. Something must have gone wrong. Strange. Right, so it looks like this one has a bit of a problem for some reason. Not sure why. So, what we'll do is we'll delete that, build a new road, and put the station to the side. Let's see if that works. Now, as you can see, the monorail does have some limitations. Uh, 
Oh dear, it's not looking good. The... Right, so here's a warning. So here's a warning if you're building monorails. Make sure it's not going up a hill, otherwise you're in trouble. So... God's sake. Not gonna lie, this is irritating me slightly. Right, there we go. Right, now it looks like it's finally connected. That took quite a bit of faffing around. So now that that will have to be resorted, but I'll deal with that off camera. There we go. Right now it should be sorted. So let's try this again, shall we? Create line. Where are we going? Add stop. <sighs> right, now the other one can't. Right, fine. I will finish that off camera because I've slightly lost my patience. I don't know why, for some reason, the monorail isn't working. I have no idea why. But as you can see, there it goes. So, yeah, there goes the monorail down the tracks. But like I said, just as a heads up, uh, if you are going to build a monorail on a hilly, on a hilly terrain, you do have to be careful about where you place it, as I just found out. So I think that's probably a good place to end it. I have to admit. Not quite what I expected. Yeah, not quite what I expected with the monorail, but I'll try and sort that off camera before the next TLC. So, yes, uh, there was... So, uh, and I guess that's where we'll leave it for today. So, there was a look at the second half of the uh, Mass Transit DLC. Overall, this definitely helps your city a lot, but you do have to be careful with positioning some of the content, like the monorails, because position it wrong, and it can be a slight headache for some reason. But I suspect I'll probably fix it off camera. Never mind, I just found the smoking gun. The smoking gun... <coughs> oh, bash me. The smoking gun was at the fact that the monorails weren't actually connecting. So let's see what happens now. Just out of curiosity. Yep, there it goes. Right, so, okay, that's another thing you have to be careful of. Obviously forgot about that. Fair enough. So, like I said, I'm going to sort out the rest. Can't find this. Oh. There we go. So, I'm going to sort out and go sort out the rest of the errors, uh, probably off camera. So, anyway, there was a look at the Mass Transit. There was a look at the Mass Transit DLC for City Skylines. Um, 
So if you enjoyed this episode uh, and want to see more content, then all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and uh, please like this video as well. Sorry, I got that all wrong. So if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, to know when my newest videos are coming out. Also, make for, also please like this video. And if you want to check out some of my previous content, then please check out my City Skyline series. I hope you've, oh, and if you want to help support Slifer King, then all you need to do is check out my Patreon at patreon.com for slash Slifer King. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And for now, this is Slifer King signing out.